Well, she's one of the best in the women's game now and historically, Valentina Shevchenko. She's already got a UFC Flyweight Championship to her credit. She will look to bolster her legacy yet again. Not only is she one of the best, she's one of the nastiest. Who has a gun tattoo on the side of their hip? And she goes out there and she's got that thing loaded. That gun to me symbolizes the right hand and the right kick of Valentina Shevchenko. She's the first. She's a great counter striker. She sets traps beautifully. And if you overextend or you attack too quickly, she will finish you on the feet. And she can also finish you on the ground. Just a phenomenal mixed martial artist is Valentina Shevchenko. And if she gets a first round knockout tonight, DC has agreed to get that gun tattooed on his face. It won't show, it won't show on his face. <laughs> bigger 2023 than the UFC women's flyweight champion out of Guadalajara, Mexico, Alexa Grasso. I said before the first Valentina Shevchenko fight that her career had methodically built to that moment. So don't be surprised if she's a live underdog in this setting. And she does become indeed the first to handle Valentina Shevchenko at 125 pounds. Fought exceedingly well in the rematch. She is so focused on her boxing and her grappling under Francisco Grasso and Diego Lopez that at this point in time, it feels like she's the best flyweight in the world. And it's going to take somebody's absolute best to dethrone her. So much UFC history has played out here at T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas, Nevada. Plenty more where that came from tonight. The athletes are ready to go. Our tail the tape for this flyweight championship fight. Now for the official introductions. The veteran voice of the Octagon, Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. It's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC Flyweight Championship of the World. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, presenting the challenger, Valentina Bullet Shevchenko. Ready. Ready. Let's do it. Well, Valentina Shevchenko has been fighting in combat sports since she was 12 years old. Pro MMA debut at 15. So you can expect she won't be affected by the bright lights here tonight. Yet another championship opportunity for Valentina Shevchenko. Great job blocking that shot. Tries the flying knee to no avail. Shevchenko gets tagged by that straight punch. Nice land for the offense there. Continuing to go to the head. Oh, nice. Big right hook there by the champ. And able to land that kick to the chin. Oh, nice. Left hook to the head. Another one landed flush by Grosser. It won't take many of those. Shevchenko gets hit with another flush left to the head. Legendary chin, but it has been tested tonight. Oh, strong punch by her there. Man, she is just... What a strike by her 
her there. I'd be knocked out. Her opponent still stands. She's still standing, but she's got to get on her bike, John. She's got to get out to the center of the octagon, find some space so that she can evade her opponent from finishing her. Oh! Well, she told us she wanted to kick more in this one tonight, and she is certainly doing that to great effect. She is doing it, and she's being very effective. She is winning the fight with her legs. Well, we could be looking at an epic comeback here. She rocked her significantly, but wasn't able to finish the fight, and now her opponent maybe creeps back in. Her opponent will now try to find a way to work her way back into the fight. It would be on her to once again land to try to knock her up. Oh, straight punch. So 40 total strikes which have connected for Alexa Grosso. That opened up a cut around her eye area. Gotta shore up the defense. Yeah, she's gotta move her head. She has not moved her head effectively, and now she's dealing with the cut. Nice eyes on the defensive side. A huge strike right there, DC. Great shot landed. Now she's got to go chase her down to get another one off to finish the fight. Now we're going. Look at that. Well, so the round is over, but not before she got absolutely starched by that huge shot just before the final horn. So she goes back to the stool now. We'll see the extent to which she can recover. As many of you know, 60 seconds, not a lot of time. All right, so there's the horn. The round is over, and we've got more fighting. It looked like maybe we'd get a finish there after she landed upstairs. Well, she was excited. She thought it was done. How does she reshift? How does she get herself back in the moment to try to repeat what she just did, but also Where's top that? it and actually Where? get the finish? Where? All right, round two. Oh, high-level stuff there as she blocks the strike and counters with a jab of her own. Oh, nice jab. Well, at this point, she hasn't really thrown any appreciable strikes to the body thus far in this fight. Might not be a bad time to start. Somewhere there, probably her best strike of the fight. Her best strike, and you don't see this type of power normally in this weight class, but she lands, and she lands very effectively. Oh, yeah, huge left! Heavy kick downstairs. Grosso's elbow attempt here, that one blocked by the defense. She connects with the jab. Shevchenko's really limping heavily now. The leg kicks have started to pile up. Clearly, they're having the desired effect. Just over three minutes. To there, this could be the end, DC. I mean, she hurt her so bad with that big head kick. I don't know how she's standing. That one landed clean. Well, she has certainly picked up the pace here in round two and starting to find herself in the pocket a little bit. She was a little bit hesitant in round one. No help. She's got to keep pressing if she wants to finish the fight. Leg kick lands. The issue with that kick, as effective as it is, one gets checked by the Anderson Silva situation. So a lot of strikes have landed here, and she has some swelling now to prove. Well, she's landing that jab. Oh! Back to the feet. Big right hand. Well, DC, some might suggest she's sort of playing with her food here. She has the upper hand, yet not really forcing the issue and trying to get her out of there. You know, she's very patient as a fighter. But when you see someone hurt that many times in one round, you gotta go for blood. I know it's against her, it's not her end goal to be over aggressive, but right now it seems like it's just a matter of time before this fight gets stopped. Big shots being landed on both sides here. Well, she's leaking a lot of blood now. That cut is getting worse with every strike landing. And the blood is flying. Her confidence is growing. She will continue 
to try and target that cut until someone has to come in. What a strike by her there. I'd be knocked out. Her opponent still stands. She's still standing, but she's got to get on her bike, John. She's got to get out to the sink of the octagon, find some space so that she can evade her opponent's finish. Line. Ten minutes in the can. All right, that's the end of the round, and the fighter has a cut on her nose. So that is something that certainly bears watching moving forward. Cut man racing in there. He'll try to seal that cut. She doesn't seem too bothered by it, but certainly something we'll keep an eye on here moving forward. All right, so a huge moment for her in that previous round, DC, as we show you some of the highlights. The knockdown nearly closed the show for her. Yeah, and that's what we're going to focus on. We're going to focus on the knockdown because it looked like the fight was over. Now, is her opponent tough? Yes, but is her opponent smart enough to make the necessary adjustment as this fight goes forward? You ready to fight? Ready. Go. Here we go, third round of this championship fight. Beautiful punch lands. It got checked. Wobbled now. It's, it's, oh my goodness, what a right hand. It's, it's, oh. Oh. oh, big, big shots here. Oh, big, big shots landed by her now. Pretty accurate there from bottom position. Lands another strike there. She's got it going on tonight in the swelling on her opponent. It's starting to get pretty bad now. It's getting, it's getting bad. I mean, she's got to address it. She's got to change something up. Maybe shoot for a take. Now, you cannot stay upright with this lady. She's too good in the stand-up. High-level grappling there as she reverses position on the ground. Back to her feet now. Good sign for her there. Grosso's left calf starting to show signs of bruising, courtesy of those leg kicks. And we have passed the midpoint of the fight. Trying to hammer that lead leg. Strike now from the bottom. Nice work there by Shevchenko. Trying to stay heavy here as best she can. Dominant position attained by. Oh. Oh, she made that one count. Oh, just a merciless approach here on the ground. Continuing to target that cut. Man, she's got some good grounded pound and putting that part of her game to good use tonight. She's putting it to great use, just really damaging from the top position. Dean steps in! Oh! Woo! What a fight! Well, there is gonna be no denying her now. A huge TKO result here tonight, and this crowd is letting her know. John, you know how much I love to talk, and I'm sitting here almost speechless because this young lady looked amazing. She said she was going to get a finish, and that's exactly what she did. Wow. Back inside the arena now, we go inside the octagon where Bruce Buffer has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Deans called a stop to this contest at 4 minutes, 14 seconds of the third round. Declaring the winner by TKO! And still, the undisputed USC flyweight champion of the world, Alexa!